It's a really beautiful day, and the hood just keeps getting bigger and closer, and that's really exciting because I think I'm now 60 miles from Cascade Locks or something like that, and then I'll be officially done with Washington, which is nuts. I think that the little thing next to hood on the right is Mount Jefferson, but I'm not sure. Anyway. It's just really exciting to be almost done with a state. I think I'll miss it though. It's been really, really beautiful. I just got to where I'm gonna set up camp for the night. Um, but if you look at this, it says 5.41. I started today at 7.30, which means that I just did 26 miles, my longest day, in just over 10 hours. And I'm really proud of that because before I started hiking the PCT, on most of my hikes, I was probably averaging around two miles per hour. And that's what it was like at the beginning of this hike too. And the fact that I was able to maintain basically a two and a half mile per hour um, speed for 10 hours, I'm really happy about that. It was a pretty flat section, but even still, I'm carrying this thing. So I feel good. I feel really good. And now I'm going to eat dinner, because that's what I'm excited for. Oh, I'm so excited for food. Alright, time for food. <sighs> this section's been a little dusty. Where'd you go? I lost you. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You want to say hi? Hello. That's <laughs> Yahtzee. She made it to camp. Hey. Yeah. We got to camp next to a table yesterday, which was great, because I didn't expect to miss tables, but I do. <laughs> so when I checked the weather forecast in Trout Lake for this next section, it looks like it was supposed to be sunny for the next 10 days, and it is decidedly not sunny today. Um, it's been raining pretty much right after I left camp, like maybe 10 minutes after I left camp. My feet are soaking wet, um, like it's actually pretty uncomfortable and I can feel my um, feet squishing in my shoes and that's unpleasant. Um, yeah, I, really, I really do hope it clears up. This is... I'm gonna be honest, pretty miserable. I know that when you decide to take on the PCT, it's not gonna be easy. Um, but this, this definitely does suck more than when it's super clear outside. Uh, so I do hope it clears up soon. I've been in the trees literally all day, um, being rained on and if I'm being totally honest, I think that today may be the most miserable day I've had on trail so far. Um, the blue skies are finally coming out, but it is so, so humid and so, so hot. And I mean, I'm just like sticky all over. And I mean, I'm really ready to get to camp. I feel a little defeated today, um, but it does help knowing that I'm just a day or two away from finishing up Washington, getting to Oregon. I think I've got another five miles left or so, um, but I am ending the day on a hill, so hopefully these next few miles go by pretty quick, um, but I am ready to go sit at camp for a couple hours. <sighs> Definitely ready to sit down. I'm starting the last climb I'm gonna have to do in Washington. Um, less than 20 miles away now from the border. So I'm almost there. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Above the trees now. Uh, I finished that last climb, so it's not totally downhill. There's like another small 
There's another small climb, but I mean, that's it. It's pretty much downhill to Oregon now. Oh, I'm so close. I'm super confused by this um, trail marker because it says, well, it says 300. And as far as I know, I mean, it's definitely not 300 miles from Canada. And it 100% is not 300 uh, miles from the Mexican border. So I have no idea. It's also not 1,300 miles from either border. So that's a little weird. I wonder what it's 300 miles from. Um, I'm on my final, final ascent in Washington. There's this sort of obnoxious small hill after that big climb. Um, there's this hilarious comment that I love on Gut Hook at the top of this hill that says, Congrats, Sobos. You just finished the, in case you forgot, you're still in Washington climb. And it's downhill from there. So, I just gotta finish up this last climb and should be pretty much home free from there. I'm gonna miss Washington. It's been a really, real fun time. I like this sign. 506.1 miles of the U.S.-Canada border. That's how long I've walked. I've reached the highway. I don't know what highway this is, but um, I do not know if you can see this. I don't know if I can zoom in on the video. Oh, there we go. That sign says Bridge of the Gods. So I'm almost there. And there we go. That's the sign closer. Bridge of the Gods Toll Bridge Cascade Locks. This is the end of Washington, guys. It's the end. And oh my god. There it is. Bridge of the Gods. <laughs> oh my god, I made it to the end of Washington. Holy crap. Oh. When I cross that bridge, I'll be in Oregon. Okay, I sort of hate this bridge because there's no pedestrian path, so I'm literally just walking on this bridge <laughs> where a car could run me over. Oh, that'd be a really sad way to end this. But look at the Columbia River. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It feels so good to be done with today right now. So good. Oh, I just got to cross this bridge. And then it is food, shower, and laundry time. Oh. Hey! <laughs> I did it! Hi, it's Joak. You decided to come see me at Cascade Locks. I did it! That bridge is like the most terrifying thing in the whole world because it's a grid and it's super long and I'm afraid of heights. But I made it! Look, it's Cascade Locks. I'm in Oregon! I'm in Oregon! I did it! Look! Pacific Crest National Trail, Scenic Trail North. Oh, look at that. That's not the direction I'm going, though. No. Woo! Feels good. Oh, I'm so hungry. Look what I got. I'm so excited. Zeroing in Portland. And it's very nice so far to not have to walk 25 miles today. It's that. vegan pizza in Portland. I'm so excited. I love food so much. And this is the less glamorous life of through hiking. I'm resupplying all my food for Oregon right now. This is all the stuff I'm going to be eating. It's real healthy. Also, we're watching The Bachelorette because I missed the last three episodes, I think. And I'm also eating vegan mac. So, that's good. But, I know it's going to be a busy night getting all my food ready for the rest of the state. But I never ended up doing it because I didn't think I'd actually make it this far. So now that I have, I actually have to think about the food I'm going to eat in Oregon. Hmm. Alright, let's get back to work. Oh my god, I love Portland so much right now.